Today is Monday, August 24th, and you are tuned into The Morning Shift, your source for hip-hop and R&B in the morning on CHUO 89.1 FM. I am Unity, and it's time for Loud Her for The Morning Shift, representing women in urban music and local business in the Ottawa Gatineau area. You can connect with me on Instagram at L-O-U-D-H-E-R 891. That's at Loud Her 891. Thank you to those who reached out for the warm reception to last week's launch. Coming up, we've got a great conversation for Let's Talk About It, which is when we invite a guest to chat a bit about women's health, relationships, fashion, TV, politics, and other topics. You can even connect with us and tell us what you want us to talk about. And her story is when we highlight a small biz boss, and we're going to get to that first. As always, you can connect with the Morning Shift crew by texting 613-562-5967. So let's get started. Gabrielle Fayance, the co-blogger of an Indigenous style blog called Style at I-N-D-I-G-I-S-T-Y-L-E on Instagram. Why do you feel this Indigenous style blog is so important? Yeah, so Indigenous style is just always been so important to me. Um, As a young person, I actually wanted to be a fashion designer. But growing up in poverty, it just felt felt like something that was like worlds away. And so I still always love fashion. I always love like street fashion, urban fashion, fashion that has been showed to us from black communities. And so I always appreciate all that that lovely fashion especially in the 90s that was like my time (laughs) but the other thing too is that you know indigenous folks we've always had fashion as well a lot of our fashions look like beadwork like quill making it looks like birch bark it looks like furs one of my knowledge keepers often would remind me that you know indigenous folks we lived in luxury you know we were not always living in poverty and so for me to give back to really showcase these indigenous brands and fashion designers just makes sense. For me, it's also about giving back to Indigenous economies. So for Indigenous folks, like our money often doesn't stay within our communities. You know, it's often in and out. And so I try to think of how can we make sure our monies stay in our own hands and that we're in more control of those funds. So for me, it's about giving back to those businesses as much as I can. And I'm not a beadwork artist. I really can't create much with my own hands. (laughs) But I always buy beadwork and I buy ribbon skirts and all kinds of things like that. And so, yeah, I just want to share with the world, like, here are some amazing designers and artists that you should follow that are also always doing community work at the same time, too. And there are some amazing, amazing makers out there. So everybody hop over to at Indigistyle on Instagram to have a look and see who you can connect with. You are listening to Loud Her on the Morning Shift on CHUO 89.1 FM. I'm going to continue chatting with Gabrielle, who calls herself an Indigenous youth auntie, mover and shaker. And in addition to her work she's doing with Indigistyle, she is co-founder of the Assembly of Seven Generations. Let's hear her request for Thunderbirds by David Strickland featuring Joey Styles and City Natives. 